What does this mean? Because 75% of the workforce would leave barely a skeleton crew to run Twitter. Right. Uh, it's hard to imagine that Twitter could continue to operate uh, depending on how quickly this is done, right? It's not the kind of thing where you can just kind of lay off three out of every four employees uh, overnight, right? So uh, I'm interested to see how this plays out. Now, one thing to keep in mind, we have been reporting there's there's definitely going to be cost cuts at Twitter. I think we all know that layoffs are, are widely expected. I do wonder if this is a little extreme, right? What we've seen from Elon in the past is that a lot of his estimates have been pretty um, you know, uh, uh, extreme in terms of what he thinks for revenue or user growth. And that could be going extreme in the other direction, too, with cost cuts, right? So while he has been telling bankers 75 percent, maybe it's going to be a little bit less than that. But regardless, this is a really big deal because this is a lot larger of a layoff than I think anyone expected for Twitter, even those who were bracing for them. Yeah, to your point, Kurt, sometimes hard to tell whether Elon Musk is joking or if it's a thought bubble or if it's actually going to happen. But if it does actually happen, uh, he has ruffled a lot of feathers over at Twitter. Could uh, a monstrous clean-out uh, be a precursor uh, to a hiring spree of new staff? Yeah, I think, you know, as with any acquisition, usually what you see, right, is the, the new owner wants to move the direction of the company. So in this case, I would imagine it would lead, it would be layoffs, um, you know, scale down, reprioritize the company, figure out what those new priorities should be, and then rebuild kind of in that direction, right? So I wouldn't be, I would be a little bit surprised if he comes in, lays off 75% of staff, and that's it. It would probably be, you know, let's do layoffs, let's figure out where we want to go, and then redirect it that way. That is my guess as to something that would happen. Although, you know, it, it depends. It's, it's a weird economic time right now. A lot of companies are doing layoffs and not hiring, so maybe that would have to be delayed a little bit. All of this would happen once the acquisition is complete. How's the process going right now? <laughs> Yeah, so the deadline is coming up. It's a week from tomorrow, or I guess the, here in the U.S., a week from tomorrow, so Friday the 28th. Um, it is, uh, you know, as far as we know, still moving in that direction. Again, both sides have said they want the same price for the deal, right? Uh, a lot of the, the equity and debt financing has uh, been there since the spring. So at this point, it seems to be that there's just a lot of uh, you know, last minute deal paperwork and things. I imagine it, it, if I had to guess, it would probably go right up to that line. Uh, you know, uh, we're probably still a couple days, if not a full week out. But I do feel, you know, everything I've heard, everything we heard Elon say yesterday during Tesla earnings about Twitter sort of suggests that this is moving forward and this is probably going to happen.